Part 10 of the S50 rebuild. In this episode, we're going to put the power supply back in and test it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. So this is where we put the power supply back in. Um, off camera, I have replaced those two capacitors. Um, I got some more delivered with the right gaps um, so they are replaced as well so that's all the capacitors and then I just did um, some put some thermal paste underneath this uh, voltage regulator uh, just to make or just to make sure that that is properly heat sinking uh, to the aluminium block underneath it now we're ready to um, put it back in so let's get on with it Okay, so this is the moment of the truth. Plugged a power cable in. It's uh, set to the workbench power supply. So we just flip that on like so. And then that is not a good sign. It is not a good sign. We have no power. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Well, as you can see, it didn't go quite to plan. 
and sometimes this stuff doesn't go quite to plan. So, you know, you should always expect there's going to be a, an element of oh bugger. Now, I haven't had time to source a new power supply. Or, sorry, I haven't had time to debug what was going on with that power supply. I've taken it out of the synth uh, and it is actually sitting on the bench behind the camera. So there is a bench that sits behind the camera. Um, it's sitting there and it's been sitting there for months waiting for me to get round to having a good deep dive into what's gone on. Because I can't see how uh, doing a cap swap um, would have made that board go like that. There must be other things going on on it and I've the cap swap has just kind of highlighted those. However, in the meantime, I was lucky enough that I managed to find this, which is a new, well, a reclaimed power supply that is guaranteed as fully working. Now, I haven't tried it because, again, to be honest, for about six weeks, this has been sitting in the box. In fact, it's been sitting in the box behind me for six weeks, so it has been on camera. It's just not been out. Um, it does need a bit of a clean, so I'm going to give it a clean. Um, might be a good excuse to get my ultrasonic, no, new ultrasonic tank working. So that is going into the S50. So the next video will be actually me installing this one, uh, removing the old one, installing this one in the S50 and making sure that it all works. The other thing I found at the same time as found finding the, the board, obviously the same person was breaking a S50 for whatever reason, was I also found the keyboard circuitry. So this is the piece that sits underneath the keyboard. Now, I have gone over this with a magnifying glass and all the brakes that are on the S50 keyboard that I rebuilt are fully intact on this. This looks like a fully intact uh, keyboard. Again, it needs a bit of a clean. Um, it's a little bit grubby, but that's just a, a cleaning issue. And then this can be fitted to the S50 keyboard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna strip the S50 keyboard down again um, and give it a good clean uh, and then I'm going to reassemble it with this piece, these pieces in it. So that comes with, there's a second part of the keyboard there, so there's two bits and also the person who supplied them was kind enough to supply me with a complete set of fixing lugs. So I've got all the fixing lugs and I've got the keyboard piece. So this S50 keyboard rebuild is not going to plan. Um, very far from plan and I suppose you know if this was commercial if I was doing this commercially I probably would have given up broken the keyboard and sold it off for spares by now but I'm not because I actually do like my S50 keyboard and it has been a real bugbear the fact that all the bits have been kind of sitting looking at me from the bench for months and I've not actually been doing anything with it so um, that kind of set part 10 part 9 part 10 have gone wrong uh, and we're going to sort of re regroup and rebuild and go with a slightly different way of getting this keyboard back into operation. And on that note, live long and prosper. Bye bye.